past, you know? About the past, cause that was, yeah. It's a new day, bro. I'ma put it on my the day. Line, cause it's you gotta my do it now. Day. Sunday, July 12th here, WNJC 1360 AM, Washington Township, New Jersey. It's Sports Sunday. I'm Christina Maxwell. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We have a packed half hour here. Tons of news to get to. First off, the Phillies end that 9-1 homestand. They get the 5-2 decision over the Pittsburgh Pirates. They end the first half of the season in great shape. We'll explain why and also we'll break down today's game as well as the Phillies best moments all year. We'll also get to the rumors of the Phillies adding another pitcher, possibly one of the best aces in the league, and also other scores and news from around the league. Also, we'll get to the Sixers. We got some news on Andre Miller and other NBA free agents. So tune in. The phone lines are open. The numbers are 856-227-1360. 856-227-1360. How about those Phillies? A 9-1 homestand. They sweep the Pittsburgh Pirates today. And you think about the weekend. They had a crazy weekend. On Friday night, they get another great performance by Joe Blanton in that 3-2 victory. Saturday... Pittsburgh has a 5-1 lead, a ninth inning in explosion. Matt Stairs home run, the Howard three-run home run, and Paul Baca wins the game for them, an RBI single, that 8-7 win. You know, the Phillies are probably still pumped up going into today's game over that huge win on Saturday night. And then on Sunday, the Phillies look to end the All-Star break with a series win, a sweep, actually, a 9-1 homestand. And some notes before the game, they decided to go with J.A. Happ today, who has a record of 5-0 with a 3.04 ERA against the Pirates' Virgil Vasquez. He's 1-2 and two with a 4.50 ERA, and the Phillies pitching this home has been absolutely outstanding. If you think of this whole series, the Mets series, the Reds series, and now going this week on with the Pirates, their pitching is great. A 2.25 ERA in this home stand. They have won five in a row, so they're looking to keep going here. And uh, Virgil Vasquez is the guy pitching for the Pirates today, and he won six innings in his last outing giving up uh, four runs in his last start versus the Houston Astros. And the J.A. Happ has been outstanding. 3-0, and a 3.25 ERA in his nine starts since he entered the rotation in early and late May after replacing Chan Ho Park. And uh, Pittsburgh, they definitely have a lot of pop in this series, if you notice. This isn't a team that hits a lot of home runs, actually. It's very rare to see the Pirates hit a lot of home runs. And this weekend, they've hit about five home runs. I mean, about five, five guys have been, have been hitting home runs. Um, they've hit 61 home runs as a team. That's second least in the big leagues. But five guys home run. The one guy they were able to keep in check all weekend was um, Adam LaRoche, and Adam LaRoche has killed the Phillies in the past when he was with Atlanta, even with the Pirates, so they were definitely looking to stay away from him, so we'll break down the game today. And get started right here. You want to jump on the Pirates really early here just because of the fact that the Phillies are probably still giddy over last night. The five-run ninth inning, they had the big all-star ceremony when the guys got their jerseys. So, you know, they were feeling good as a team. And bottom first, you know, um, they face Virgil Vasquez. He's a 5-2 and two in his three, third year in Triple A. So he's a career minor leaguer. You don't really expect a lot on on lot from him just make sure you jump on him early jimmy rollins walks shane victorino gets that base hit to right field like he always does the runners on first and second with no out vasquez is having a lot of trouble with his command at this point you can tell that uh chase Utley hits the ball to uh right to uh first base and adam roach makes a great play but he doesn't know what to do with it because the pitcher was not covering first base so utley is safe and the bags are loaded with no outs and ryan howard you think he's gonna hit the ball he hits the ball hard and you think of last night with the three-run home run he gets a deep sack fly to center field it's a one nothing game Raul Ibanez strikes out, and Pedro Feliz comes up, and you know what he does? On an 0-2 pitch, a grand slam to left field. The Phillies take that 5 nothing lead. It was an 0-2 pitch right down the middle. He sends it deep to left field, and, and you think about it, the Pirates were one pitch away from getting out of that inning, and the Phillies were able to capitalize on that 5 nothing 
lead right here. And Pedro Feliz has 45 RBIs before the home run, but before the All Star break. And this is a guy that you haven't really heard much from because people are complaining that he's not, he doesn't have a lot of power this year. He's not hitting clutchly, and he really has come about, especially today, 45 RBIs before the break. And Jay Hab, he just looks outstanding today, top second. Second hit is allowed in Sanchez's base hit. Rollins could have had a double play, but he doesn't. It was Pedro Feliz with the next batter to get a double play. And J.A. Happ really capitalized on all this, all these runs as well as all these double plays. And uh, in top five, back-to-back -back hit a walks for J.A. Happ. And then Utley makes an outstanding another double play when Andy LaRoche hits the ball. Then he gets a pop-up. J.A. Happ pitches himself out of some potential trouble. And then top six, Freddy Sanchez gets the RBI double with one out. And McClutchkin scores. So then the Pirates do get on the board there. Um, McClutchkin is a great player. He's very fast and young, a center fielder for the Pirates. So it's a 5-1 game. And pitches were kind of piling up early for J.A. Happ. But it wasn't until the seventh inning that he got that quick 1-2-3 inning that gave him that seven innings on the day. He got through the seven innings, allowing that one run top nine jc romero comes in this 5-1 game gave up a home run to garrett jones but gets the three outs to give the phillies the victory a 5-2 decision here on sunday phillies win they have a 9-1 home stand and you know when you think about the play of the game the play of the game was play of the game was definitely pedro felice's grand slam it was absolutely the highlight and jay happ is seven innings was outstanding and if you think of this first half for the Phillies they are 48 and 38 first place in a National League East they um and that's great for the defending champions because they hit the ball well and the pitching was suspect to begin with this year if you think about it very early in the year in May they had that ERA around six the whole pitching nobody was pitching well Blanton and, Ma and Moyer there were some rumors they might have to pull Moyer out of the rotation until he gets it right or wait till the all-star break but they all have came together and pitched really well At one point they were last in the National League or second to last behind Washington and now I'm sure that they're right in the middle there with the rest of the best teams in the league and um you know this homestand has really turned it around you think about the homestand you think of the Mets and they don't have all their best players out there and then you think of the Reds but then the Pirates they come in and they sweep them solid pitching the resurgent offense this contributed to Philadelphia's best homestand since May 31st to June 12th in 2005 when they went 12 and 1 can you believe a 13 home 13-game homestand. I never hear of those anymore. The Phillies are 48-38. They enter the All-Star break with a very comfortable lead over the second-place Florida Marlins. So we'll get to their uh, scores in just a little bit. So I was actually looking a little bit online about some polls and seeing what the Phillies fans are thinking right now. Philly.com has a great poll on the front cover, front page here. And they said, what are the Phillies' biggest concerns entering to the second half of the season? And uh, there are some couple options. And uh, the overwhelming majority, 61% uh, say they need to find another starting pitcher. You know, other people say keeping everyone healthy, making sure that... Um, they are being complacent in this lousy division. And some people have no concerns to just say print the playoff tickets. And maybe that is the point. But it's so early in the year and anything can happen in the second half. And that's why the Phillies may have to turn their attention to finding another starting pitcher. They will enter this all-star break. I'm sure they're going to have a great week with all those guys. Jason Worth, Raul Ibanez, Shane Victorino, Chase Sutley, Ryan Howard. And even the manager, Charlie Manuel, will all be heading to St. Louis for the all-star game, which will be on Tuesday. Ryan Howard will be be a part of the home run derby we'll get to the home run derby in just a little bit so uh, i think the next next thing the phillies need to really think about here is um definitely finding another starting pitcher so could they go after the best pitcher in the league or could they go after a few possibly a future hall of famer we will definitely get to that the phone lines are open here it's 856-227-1360 856-227-1360 i'm christina maxwell i'm gonna take a break here we'll come right back and talk a little bit more about the phillies and whatnot here on wnjc 1360 a.m WNJC 1360 AM Washington Township New Jersey it's Sports Sunday here I'm Christina Maxwell well, welcome back here I was to talk a lot about the Phillies and we'll be back on at nine o'clock I'm definitely going to discuss um, the best moments of this Phillies first half of the season there's a lot of games you look back and you